priorities. So does it make sense that God sent the guidance? Yes. With, by whom? Through the human being. So, and we say, according to the Muslims' belief, we say they are the prophet. They are what? Prophets. Yes. Prophet came from the God. They are the appointed one. Who, they, they are the creations of God as well. We don't say they are the, they are the God. No, we don't say that. We say they are the creation as well, like you and me. But they are the best creation. They are the appointed one. We subscribe to this as well, and we believe the prophets came with the same message. So how do you understand they are the prophet? We can understand by the miracle and the word they were preaching. For example, you believe in one true God, right? I believe in one true God as well. Look at the how Adam says, first prophet and the first human being. He says, worship to one true God. Look at the what Moses said, worship to one true God. Look at what Jesus said, worship to one true God. They never claimed to be God. They never claimed. They said, worship to one true God. And they came with the guidance from the God. Yes. And they came with the guidance with the miracle as well. With the, we say the Mu'ajiza, which is the prophecy, right? They came with the prophecy, they came with the message, this worship to one true God. And this chain of the prophets started with the Prophet Adam and end with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon the, all of them. We believe this prophecy has stopped with the Prophet Muhammad Islam. He is the last and the final prophets. So, a God needs to send the guidance to send guidance. How many prophets exist here? Yeah, so there is a different opinion in terms of this. Allah said in the Quran, there's the, for the every tribe, every human, you know, every society, He sent the prophets. Yeah? So according to the Islamic belief, there is a 120 thousands or 220 thousands. Yes. 120,000 or 220,000? There's two different opinions. All of the different. stories are in the Quran? No. The Quran mentioned about the 25 prophets. The story of 25 prophets. And Allah said, I mentioned some of the prophets' name. I didn't mention some of the prophets' name. So, Quran is not the book for story. Quran is book for the guidance. For example, if you look at the Bible, you don't find, the, for example, what's the financial system for a country. You don't find in the Bible. You'll find in the Quran how an economy should be. What's the judiciary system? You don't find in the Bible, you find in the Quran, how it should be. What, should, what will be the punishment if someone stole something? You'll find in the Quran, not in the Bible. So you can compare with these things and your belief one God, you believe only one God, and they, you, sub, you subscribe there should be a messenger, you will find in Islam. Why it's not in Christianity? Because Christians, According to the Christian's doctrine, they believe Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, three are God, which is quite contradictory with the monotheistic idea. Monotheistic believe there is one true God. If you go to the Jewish people, they reject the Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Jesus as well. So they are not even accepting the Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad as Prophet, where we have the evidence and the strong, strong evidence for them being as Prophet. Do you understand this? So what we say, we say Jesus, Moses, Abraham, only the Islam, only the Islam is making connection with all the Abrahamic religion. Look what Islam says about the Moses. We say he is the one of the greatest prophet. Look what we say about the Jesus. We say he is the one of the greatest prophet. What do we say about Prophet Muhammad? We say he is the prophet as well. So, and Islam says, لا نفرق بين أحد من رسولي. Allah says in the Quran, there is, there is no, there is, there is no discrimination, there is no differentiation between the prophets. And the core belief of Muslim, we believe in Aman to Billah, we believe in Allah, wa malaikati, we believe in uh, uh, angels, we okutubihi, we believe in the kitab, meaning the guidance, as you discussed. There's a sign to the many different prophets to the human being. We believe in the guidance. We said, Warusulihi, we believe in the messengers. Messengers come from the God. Waliyumil Akhri, we believe, will, we'll, you know, we'll, uh, there, there is a life after death. Yeah, there is a life after death, and we'll meet the God. We believe in the, you know, what's the fortune? Allah, Allah knows what will happen to us. We believe in the Allah. We believe hereafter as well. There is a life hereafter and Allah is the owner of everything.
That's what we believe. That's the things we believe. Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense that the, you believe in one God? Does it make sense the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, Jesus, Abraham, Ishmael, all of them are prophets? Does it make sense? So you believe in one God, you believe in Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final messenger, right? Does it make sense? So if you, Alhamdulillah, it's a belief of Muslim. If you read it in Arabic, you can become Muslim. So you can repeat after me, then you can become Muslim, inshallah. Is that okay? Yes, inshallah. No, the thing is, when you become Muslim, it's not something you need to do right now. It's the step by step. For example, you can't ride the bike when you born, when you just born, right? You will learn step by step. You can't run when you just born. You will learn step by step. For example, as Muslim even, there is a hadith says, "Talabu al-ilmu faridatun ala kulli Muslim," meaning that taking and acquiring knowledge is compulsory for all Muslim, not non Muslim, not even new Muslim, for all Muslim. Whatever it is, you by born by accepting whatever it is. It's for all Muslims, not only for you, for me as well. As Muslim, as by born Muslim, I st I'm still learning. So it's the process of learning. It's not something everyone is pushing you or it's not something you have to learn everything right now. You learn step by step. It's just opening the door of your belief. Then you learn step by step, step by step, step by step. Does it make sense? Yeah? So repeat after me, inshallah, then you'll become Muslim. Yeah? The thing is, I need to do more research. So the things you said, the things you believe, it's already okay to be being Muslim. Then you can research by yourself. You can look into it, whatever it says, and you can research more. Yeah, it, it's just a just a doorway. You just open the door. You need to do lots of stuff. Do you understand? It's it's just a first step. Yeah. So it's the shahada meaning. What's let me tell you what's the meaning of shahada. Shahada meaning, I believe there is a one true God. And I believe Prophet Muhammad is the Prophet. That's it, nothing else. You believe already, right? Do you understand? It looks like so, you're ready. I'm, you're ready. I, I Do you understand? Ask you, because I, this is the first time I met you, so I actually thought maybe this is the first time you heard about Quran, but I heard you the word Shahada. So, you, what's your background? Yeah. Are you, how do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Muslim. So obviously, you, you thought about this. You look like. Uh, you know, you, you think. Why, why have you not taken the Shahada? Well, why I'm saying it's, it's just a. It's not nothing like very complicated things. It's just what you believe already. You believe already that there is one God and the Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final messenger. Just say it in Arabic, inshallah. Is that okay? And what if I decide later that it's not for me? So, that's, that's... the thing is, when you believe in it, right? You are believing one God, you are believing Prophet Muhammad, and nobody is forcing you. It's not something I'm pushing you or she is pushing to you then you can look into it you can testify whether it is true or not right you can testify it by yourself and if you want to testify you can testify it's not it's there is no problem and you will find the more you research the Quran inshallah Aziz, the more you will attract by the Quran not by, you will not, never have any distraction according to what experience we do have in terms of this right so inshallah you can accept the accept the Islam, you can take the Shahada, then research by yourself. Does it make sense? Yeah. Alright? Repeat no, it. There is no, you know, but you're saying about if you change your mind or something, that's between you and your creator. There's it's between, a, yeah. You know, man made law. Yeah, you know, man made law, sign here for a loan or something. It's not like this. this it's much more superior, it's much more pure, it's much more original. You have nothing, if this creator that you're you, you kind of believing in or having faith in, yeah, he's not going to do something to confuse you or, you know what I mean, trick you because. And ultimately, it's your own. You benefit from it yourself, individuals. We human beings. So yeah, the reason that that shouldn't be. Um, you have that open. That's open to you as well, by the way. Yeah, that, yeah. That, no one's you ever, understand? No one's ever. If the truth is true, then there's nothing to worry about. If that makes sense. Yeah. So there isn't anything. There is nothing in here, or in this, we call it instruction manual. That way you live here. There's nothing in there that's unnatural. If that's right, the word natural. You know, some some people have certain ways of living. You, know, you have to sacrifice something or do something really odd. There's nothing in there. Even someone who doesn't even practice a religion, even if they were like humanitarian, yeah. If you were to look into that book, they haven't found anything in there that would say, you know what, that's not very human life. Yeah. Does it make sense? There's nothing there. Yes, All right. My issue is to be part of religion is to be part of a community mm -hmm. and I'm not part of that community I don't have she's the only Muslim person I know mm -hmm. or that I'm even really in contact with and my family's not Muslim I don't really have people around me who could help me to be 
Yeah, that, that's that's good. So we do have, you know, once you take the shahada, I do understand what point you are coming from, but once you take the shahada, there is a sister circle, right? So there is a sister. Yeah, yeah, Germany. Oh, I do understand. So then you can. Yeah, it's just educational purpose. Maybe they will blur to your side. All right. So you can take shahada, inshallah, and ask guidance to the to the God. Maybe it's just opportunity. You came from the, you came from Germany. I came from my office. I don't know. Maybe I, I, I meet you. you know, so there's media, there, there's an opportunity. Yes, there is good goodness in this. No bad, maybe you know, not yes. people. But there's so many goodness in this. I can give you one on top of my head. I'll give you a channel. You can take down. Yeah. So many people that reverted to Islam. Okay. Islamic reverse stories, for example. Yeah. You can before you go, you, you can look into it now and you can say it for yourself. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Inshallah. So, so they sister, see people talking how took they, shahada, how inshallah. They, yeah? they came in. Took shahada, repeat it for me. There's, there is one God only, and the Prophet Muhammad Islam is the last and the final messenger. Inshallah. Yeah? yeah repeat it for me. Yeah. All right. Say, Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa Ashadu. Wa Anna. Anna. Muhammad. Muhammad. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear, I bear witness, there is no God, is no God except, except, Allah, except Allah and Prophet Muhammad, and Prophet Muhammad peace, be him, peace be upon him, is the last, is the last and, final messenger and final messenger of Allah. Allah. MashaAllah, I become Muslim. Alhamdulillah. You see? So you just... How do you feel? It's, it's quite an emotional thing actually. If you do it right. It feels a lot of overwhelming Really? Alhamdulillah, may Allah give you barakah, you know, the Islam, many women, many, you know, girls, they are accepting Islam, it makes sense, yeah? For example, in Islam, give the ultimate independency. What's the independency? Today's world, you, you do the bad stuff, you are doing, going, going clubs and these are the, they call it independency. No, that's not the independency. You, yeah, you are, you, are in a, you are in a chain of slavery. When someone do this, you, they are in a chain of slavery. Whether you will slave of the society, you will slave of the nightclub, you will slave of the bar, you will slave of the drugs, or you will be slave of the creator who created you. So when you accept Islam, you are just open the door of being slave of your creator, not any human beings. Yeah? Alhamdulillah. Take the Quran, and I think we can give uh, the numbers to her for the sister circle. I don't know about Germany, but you know on the... Um, do you have... Some, some of the uh, channels that you can actually look into, they definitely have other individuals who have actually reverted. So I know someone one. from Germany. You do? Yeah, you I know. Let me... So take that down, Muslim reverse stories, and save it or, or subscribe to it. And you can see, like, basically other people who have taken that step before you and what stages they went through, what they went through. And there is a lots of information. If you just type in, look, new Muslim, yeah, he revert. Yeah, and the other one uh, I like is this one. This is a Turkish one, but they have different languages as well. Towards the Which city you do you live? Uh, ah. Ah. New Cologne. Oh, I do have uh, I do have someone in Dresden. Uh, take, take this one in as well. Dresden, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know someone in languages. Dresden. But I don't find this one. You don't find this one? Muslim Tibetan. You don't find the AC? You go back, go, 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 no, down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. This one there. Ah, uh, this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, this one is good, is there? Towards eternity. Yes, it took You got that one? Yes. Go in there and watch some video, even today, and you see uh, the st stories in there that people have taken child from the beginning. And, what they and, and But you should be able to uh, guide the sister yes. with the first steps, yes. what you do. Uh, one of the things we recommend is that when you, obviously you're staying in a hotel. Right? No, so in the Airbnb. Okay, so normally what we say to people is that you go home, you take a shower, and then you, we go, uh, put on recitation, maybe Quran recitation, and to open up the book. Either listen, or if you're in the mood for reading, open up the book with an open mind and start reading. And the book will talk to you. We'll give you instruction from there. And if you're not in the mood for talking, if you just want to reflect, then just listen to the Quran, YouTube again, Quran recitation, and just listen to it and see how you feel. And you would hear, you would see guidance, hopefully, inshallah, that will guide you to take the next step. And as Muslim, yeah, as Muslim, there are five pillars of Islam. There is, first of all, Iman, uh, the Kalima, you took already, right? That you, you testify your belief, right? Then the Salah, the next step is Salah. Salah means the prayer, prayer five times in a day. 
So as Muslim, it's compulsory to pray to the only true God. The one God you believe in, you need to pray to Him. So to to know how to pray, you can you can re, uh, search in YouTube. Maybe you don't have any sister. Or, and yeah, yeah, she she knows. I think she knows how to pray. So you can take help from her. There's how to pray. Then then pray five times, inshallah. Do it step by step. Yeah. When you learn, do it. When you when you don't understand, search it in YouTube. Search it in uh, somewhere else. Right. You will find it, inshallah. There's lots of you know instrument. There's lots of materials to learn then you can take it inshallah and we do believe uh, there is a zakah as well zakah meaning when you have the certain amount of uh, money right when you have certain amount of wealth you need to give the compulsory charity in islam which calls zakah and when you have the certain amount of money you need to go to hajj in mecca in in saudi to do the hajj in in your one 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 time in your whole life yeah that's for so these are the these are the pillars of Islam. So do it, inshallah, and fasting as well. So the another pillar is fasting. So when it comes to the month of Ramadan, you know this, right? When it comes to the month of Ramadan, you need to fast. You need to do fasting for a month. So inshallah, you will do do it step by step. Ask for the guidance from the Allah who created even me. So ask the guidance that Ya Allah, I took the shahada, I became Muslim. Guide me for the, all the steps I need to go through. Yeah? Inshallah, Allah will guide you. Where's Inshallah. your family, where's your family background? You said, Nigerian. are they Muslim, are Christian? Yes. Okay, so obviously, I, I don't know how, as Muslims, even if you decide to become, come into the fold of Islam, you see you're still, you have to be, you have responsibilities with regards to you cannot be, uh, what's the word, uh, rude or, or disrespectful towards your parents, even if they are not in the same faith. So as a Muslim, you still have to respect them, they, they're your parents, okay? Secondly, the only thing I was going to say, because depending on how strong they are, because some in Nigerian Christians, they are quite strong in <coughs> that sort of belief. What you can do for yourself, to put some peace of mind in your mind, what you can do is you can think like this. People who follow Christianity, Jesus especially, okay? You have Jesus, what Jesus says with his own mouth. You have the Bible, that says something slightly different, and you have churches, which is completely different, yeah? So what you can do, you can think, for your parents say, you can say to yourself, you can say to yourself, you know what I've decided to do? I've decided to bypass the church and the Bible. I'm going to follow Jesus direct. Are you with me? Yes. As a Muslim, if you follow what Jesus himself said firsthand, yeah, you're living the same life. He called to one creator. Okay, he didn't say he's God at all. Okay, one Savior is through him. You connect through him. Okay, but after that, we are Prophet Muhammad. Okay, and the best thing about us being Muslim is that Allah says, you know what? I want you to connect directly with me. You don't need, yes, to learn, you need a prophet to, to understand the message, but to connect with the Creator, you do directly, okay? So keep that in mind. Everything that Jesus said, if someone was to say, look, in your head, so they, they might think, you know, how dare you've left us. But sometimes people have this understanding, you know, Christianity is something more civilized, more advanced, and, you know, Islamic is something, you know, backwards or back in the. Are you with this? Is what they have. But if they knew the religion and how pure and how naturally it is, they would not say this. Okay, so bear that in mind. Look, I haven't, I haven't uh, <coughs> left, you know, everything. If anything, I've gone more closer. Okay, I feel there's a lot of gaps within the life of Jesus with Christianity. So many gaps they can't fill in. Yeah. If you come into Islam, if anything, you fill in the gaps. Yeah. For just for an addition with this, right? So, keep so, that in mind. so don't think what I'm Islam left. says. Many people, even maybe your parents, says that like, if you accept the Islam, you're denying Jesus. Yeah. There's, there's a wrong concept for this. As I said, this we believe in Jesus. We believe in Jesus as a, one of the greatest prophets in the Islamic history. So we don't, we don't disobey the Jesus or we are not denying the Jesus. We are showing the Jesus, the actual Jesus. For example, if you ask your teacher, if you show the respect to your teacher just by calling, oh, you are a doctor, it doesn't make sense because he's the teacher. How can you tell him that he's a doctor? You should respect him as teacher, not as doctor. He's the teacher. So Jesus is a prophet. So we, we are respecting him as prophet, not God. Because he's not God. Why should we respect him as God? So he's the prophet. He's a prophet. He's the one of the greatest prophets. We do believe as well. Do you understand? And even the amazing thing is the most earliest Christian, believers of Jesus, disciple of Jesus, one of them called Evionites. Right? If you write, you, you will get it. Ibunites were the people who were with the Jesus, who were the disciple of the Jesus. But they never, never ever believe Jesus is a God, was a God. 
they were the directly student with the Jesus. They never believed Jesus was a God. They never believed Jesus died in the cr cross. They never believed Jesus, you know, is the Son of God. They didn't believe all of the stuff. Christianity, the Nicene Council of Church came after 300 years and making up this Jesus, Father, and the Holy Spirit are God. But Jesus claiming he is not God. Look at the Bible. It says, John chapter 17, verse 3, it says, the Father is the only true God. When Jesus is saying the only true God, meaning he is not the God. So Jesus is worshiping to the Creator. Jesus doesn't know everything, whether God should know everything. Do you understand? So if anyone, as, as, as Christian society where, where we are living, so if anyone asks this kind of question, you can just repeat, repeat them. There's the, I am following the actual Jesus, not the Jesus you are making. I am following the Jesus, what Jesus said. Jesus said, worship to the one true God. Look the, how the Lord's Prayer they do in, in church. They say, oh my Father in the heaven, oh, oh the God, the Father in the heaven, right? So why not Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? Where is they? Where are they? Do you understand? So we believe the actual God, what Jesus believed. We believe as Muslim, as you are Muslim, Alhamdulillah, we are Muslim, believe actual God. The God of Jesus, God of Moses, God of Abraham, God of Jacob, God of David, God of everyone, every human being, everything, whatever we see, whatever we can't see, we believe in this God, Alhamdulillah. Yeah? Alhamdulillah, congratulations, you become Muslim, take your next step, do the Salah step by step, just uh, you can take help from her, Inshallah. Is your, what's your background, your parents, T Turkish? Turkish, yes, and Turk German. Turkish and German, yeah. All right, so okay. with her it will be more stronger, I think, think Inshallah. Definitely All right. think forward, this is it's the most natural, you know the word natural, okay, so it's going to be easy. I that think. So don't, don't ever think anything negative. And the Creator knows that says, I am what you think, what you expect of me. In other words, if you think your Creator is all-powerful, all-knowing, all-helpful, yeah, then you will get that. But if you limit yourself, if you limit the Creator in your mind, then it's kind of a... Yeah, don't be scared, don't so, be scared. So be don't scared be scared, about, yeah? yeah? Don't be remember scared. Remember what I said about the parents thing, isn't it? That's, 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 that's something to do with a lot of people, it's the culture, yeah? A lot of people know this makes sense, but they don't want to uh, unbalance, cause any chaos within the family tree, family history, this is the reason, which is wrong. You know, if truth is truth, even if it's one person, wrong is wrong if everyone's doing it. That's the difference in life. So if you know this and you stay strong, you'll get help and you'll find people around you. So you're not going to be on your own, definitely. All right, okay? uh, so I'm you can take you. some literature there yeah, as well, some inshallah. More some more literature, yeah, come. Okay. Germany, I believe, yeah, uh, Germany and uh, she was confused about, you know, concept of God. Uh, she believes in one God, but she wasn't sub subscribing to any particular religion. But Alhamdulillah, we, we discussed about, you know, the difference between the Islam and the Christianity. And we discussed about why Islam makes sense and the concept of God and the concept of prophets in Islam. Alhamdulillah, it makes sense to her. And she was just, you know, Alhamdulillah, she was just ready to took Shahada. We just gave some information about the Islam and makes sense. Alhamdulillah, she took Shahada, become Muslim. May Allah guide her, may Allah guide all of us. May Allah protect her, may Allah make her steadfast, and may Allah accept our all good deeds. May Allah forgive us. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum.